Hey everybody, I'm just here making this video as a fix for two major problems I was having on this Dell Inspiron 15R Special Edition. That's the 7520 laptop with the AMD Radeon 2 GB graphics card. Well, one of the main reason, re, the main problem I was having, sorry, was the AMD and the Intel graphics card. Both of them, when it's updated to the latest driver, what happens is the AMD automatically disables. Well, for some reason, I don't know why the Intel isn't green with the AMD and they built it into this computer. It's so dumb. I don't know why they did it. They should just stick to the AMD and finish with Intel. So, major problems I was having. Also, one thing I also realized was this same mouse track but also when the Intel drivers were updated it stopped working you wasn't getting no right button or left button click it wasn't getting no like functionality you know zoom capability all of those was just completely stuck but as you can see now on off is working if you notice here it's enabled now it's disabled I just do a little I'm going to move the mouse and show you well see the mouse is moving with the trackpad and I'm going to disable it here when the light is on it's disable as you can see notification is on so well that wasn't a major problem for me but the major problem was the AMD graphics card even when I'm playing a game well of course anyone playing a game would want the game to run smoothly and for sure the dumb Intel graphics won't do anything so one of the big things was as you right click on the desktop there is the graphics property for the AMD and also you can configure switchable graphics. I'm gonna click on that and in a few seconds it pops up. Now before the problem was when both of the graphics drivers were updated if I right click and select configure switchable graphics a few seconds after you will see it has an error message AMD Catalyst Control Center is not responding, and that was basically it. You couldn't get no access to this setting here. Even the EMD Catalyst, the properties itself, you weren't being able to get into it. So, what I did a few times, I've reloaded the system, installed all of the drivers fresh, everything, and I was still getting a problem, even with the mouse. So what I did was, I finally, I even upgraded the BIOS, and so finally I installed Windows 8 again. Also, it is it came with Windows 8. I reinstalled Windows 8, and what I did, the only thing that I, the only driver that I updated, was the AMD driver, and the mouse driver. And so far, what I did is like an hour ago, and so far it's working perfect no problems at all so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna leave it the Intel what I recommend everyone to do if you have the same problem like me just leave the Intel alone don't don't mess with it it's just stupid if you want to upgrade the AMD if you're playing your games or whatever upgrade the AMD but just leave the Intel as it is because it's causing major conflict I don't know what they did, they're just so dumb to build an EMD with the Intel in one system. Uh, well, probably it worked for Windows 7, I don't know, but Windows 8, also I hate Windows 8, just sucks. A lot of people keep telling me the same also. So, I don't see what's the big catch in Windows 8 here. That's more like a tablet operating system, not a PC. So, I hope this video was a good fix for anyone having the same problem as